my chosen research topic is the rising rates of low-income families in the city of Casey. My research focused on the rising rates of low-income families, contributing factors for the increase in low-income families, and it had a specific focus on South East Melbourne, specifically in the city of Casey. My topic speaks to the central theme of social justice by focusing on a marginalised group of people in society through the exploration of inequalities of low-income families and through exploring the differences of socioeconomic rates between different suburbs in Melbourne and how social injustices may occur. My interest in this topic first began while I was completing placement in a primary school and I began noticing high amounts of low-income families. I then decided to research the topic and I found that the city of Casey has the highest rates of low-income families in Victoria, though there was no explanation of why this was the case. My research question for this study is, what are the contributing factors to the rise of low-income families in the city of Casey? I recruited participants through an online Facebook post and also through a variety of meetings held at the school where I was completing placement. The meetings included staff meetings, and parent and family meetings, in which I was able to discuss my topic. Through these sources, I was able to recruit 10 participants. Seven participants from two parent household and three participants from a single parent household. In order to meet the eligibility criteria, two parent households must earn under $60,000 per year and single parent households must earn under $35,000 per year, as stated by the Australian Tax Office. The most challenging part of this process was working out what participants to use and ensuring that the participants accurately represented the demographic and that they met the research criteria in regards to income and family dynamics. I placed a large focus on my participants and also on my survey's questions as they were the basis of my data collection and findings. I had to adapt these throughout the study by changing my eligibility criteria to allow for more participants and also by decreasing my questions and making them more precise and clear. Once I'd collected my data, I inputted the raw data onto an Excel spreadsheet. I then converted each question and their answers into a bar graph. I then found the main themes and findings through each question and placed them on a separate sheet to analyse the impact between them and the rise of low-income families in the city of Casey. I found my data collection method quite simple and straightforward, as it mainly involved participants completing a nine-question survey. The only main challenge I faced was decreasing the amount of environmental variables. The most important finding from the study was the correlation between the overpopulation of the city of Casey and the rise of low-income families. It was found that 90% of the participants stated that they had difficulty getting a job due to overpopulation, overpopulation of the area. ranked as the second most prevalent factor that has impacted household this income in the city of Casey. It recognises overpopulation as a current issue in the city of Casey and it recognises the relationship between overpopulation and the rise of low-income families. It also recognises that this Other issue is not only a small community issue but it's a wider social issue. health issues in low-income families. An increased amount of grandparents becoming guardians of grandchildren in the city of Casey and also with a strong correlation with the rise of low-income families. And interestingly, it found that the, the issue was not the an study, It allows issue. a range of possible solutions to be explored and identified to address this issue. It also provi provides a foundation for future similar studies and also provides more awareness of the impact of mental health and financial income, which may result in, result in changes in service provision. I enjoyed this research study as I was able to control the process myself. I was able to meet and interact with a range of people and I was able to learn a lot about the research process. However, I did find it overwhelming and stressful at times. In the future, I will be more organised, I will use a larger sample size, and I will ensure I find my survey questions more efficiently. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned some more information regarding the rise of low-income families in the city of Casey. Created using Powtoon.